Hey guys, this is Justin back with an engineer's perspective and today we're talking about plastic handles. Plastic handles can be maybe a little bit polarizing for some people. I think a, a lot of the average Joe knife buying population associates weight and steel and metal with like quality. But... Um, I'm not in that camp. Uh, I know there are advantages and disadvantages with every material. And this video today is going to basically be glowing over the plastic handles. Um, and I've got, I think, a really good smattering here of the different styles between these two and these two and that one of why these plastic handles are so great, guys. So great. So this is a Spyderco Delica 4. This one's in K390, this one's in Vitoku 2. I love both of these knives. And uh, the first good thing about plastic handles, and then just to be clear, this isn't your average everyday plastic. It's very high quality plastic. This is fiberglass reinforced nylon on the Delicas. I think the Manix 2 is fiberglass reinforced copolymer. So FRN, FRCP. I don't know on the, the natives if it's FRN or FRCP, whatever. Benchmade has their grivery. And here's the deal is it's very inexpensive right off the bat. So that's a positive, is you get a knife that's much less expensive because you're getting it in plastic handles instead of uh, be it titanium, aluminum, or G10. Um, I don't like steel handles. I never will, never have. I think they're, they're just ridiculously heavy and uh, not nice in the winter and all those things. So I don't... I prefer G10 or plastic, personally. But they're all fancy plastic. They're all pretty much the same and act the same. So they're inexpensive, for one. Number two is they're lightweight. So you save weight on all of these knives by being completely plastic. That's the second good thing, is they're lightweight. The third good thing is that they really hold up to abuse so well. They age just incredibly well, um, especially compared to metal uh, metals and uh, different finishes on metals, is this plastic will look just as good as the day you bought it if you clean out all of the, the dead skin and pocket lint and whatever dirt in there. Just as good as the day you bought it, you know, three years later. Whereas your Chris Reeve with its bead blasted titanium is going to look like it's been to hell and back. Even if you didn't use it hard. Just carried it in your pocket. So it really holds up well. It, it holds up well to the heat. Holds up well to the cold. It holds up well to chemicals. From my experience, I don't haven't doused it in acetone. But nylon should be able to handle that specifically. But... Um, it holds up well to impacts. It holds up really good to impacts, um, either from you dropping it or like I'm never afraid to use this if there's like ice on something. I live in a very far north, North Dakota here. So ice is on things all the time. So I very frequently will take my knife and chip ice off with the butt of my blade. And you can actually see some of that on here. I'm not worried about really effing this up and making it look terrible. Whereas like I've had knives with uh, aluminum handles where I just, what well, wasn't an option for me. Um, the next, the next one is that I think they are, they have superior comfort and I'm not sure if that's because it's so easy to make them rounded necessarily like contoured because if you have like G10 or metal, like you, there's a milling operation you have to do or some sanding to make them rounded. Whereas with plastic, it's all happens in the mold. Boom, done. But I don't, I don't think it just has to do with, um, with that. I think there's more to it because if you look at this, 
the Delica is much more rounded than the Native 5 is here. Same goes for the Manix. Well, the Manix is a little bit better probably than the Native. And then the, the Bug Out is decent. Lee contoured. Um, but they're so much more comfortable than a lot of the G10 handles are. In my opinion, the Seki City Spyderco knives with these FRN handles are like the singularly most comfortable for their width handles that are made currently. There isn't a knife that's that thick that's as comfortable as this handle right here, hands down. And this is more comfortable than the bug out. I'm not sure if it's because it's not the flow through or what, but more comfortable than the bug out for sure. So you can, the thickness is very similar between the two. But it's so comfortable. It's so comfortable to use. And especially in the winter when it's, you know, negative 30 and the wind is blowing 20 miles per hour, the it not being cold is really nice. And, but even this more squared off handle, super duper comfortable. I don't have a G10 native to compare, but it's really comfortable, guys. That is, that's a huge attraction for me is how they wear really nice and they're very comfortable. Um, other advantages is they're very strong for their weight. Um, so I've got a few different varieties here. So the thinnest ones are the thinnest because they have full skeletonized liner. I really don't think you can see that. This might be too bright. You see in there? See those skeletonized liners? So basically there's a piece of steel in the shape of this knife that keeps it strong and uh, so it doesn't bend. Um, ah, so strength for weight. So that's why this is the thinnest. So you do need to get thicker. So the reason why the Native 5 is so thick is because it has absolutely zero liners, okay? But this knife is incredibly strong. So I can crush the liners down, but I have no hope of possibly breaking this. I guarantee this knife will take anything that your hand and arm will do to it. It is very strong. You know, look at a knife that has no liners whatsoever. There is not a single piece of steel in that whole side. And when I open it, zero side to side, zero up and down. And when I hit the lock bar, amazing action, okay? And you get incredible lightweight for that. It's just awesome. So its strength to weight ratio is great. It does a great job being able to house locking mechanisms and allowing you to have great actions. Here's another one, same thing. Like this is Chris Reeve lockup, straight up and great action. Drop shut action. It's really fantastic, guys. Um, Manix 2, completely linerless. I think they have a little piece of steel in here. No side, to, oh, actually a tiny bit of side to side. Zero up and down. I could take it out with the screw, it just got loose. But great action once again. Bug out, probably the weakest of all the knives because it has Delica size handles but no liners. So it'd have to be that thick in order to get the strength. But it's strong enough. I have felt it flex concernably before, but people that are worried about these things breaking are full of baloney. They'll flex, but they won't break. And these ones, you never feel the flex. Like I pointed out with the thickness difference. There's a reason why Spyderco does these knives this thickness and these knives this thickness. There's a reason for that. And then, yeah, the bug out just has a little steel here down to there. Just a tiny mini steel liner. So perfectly strong. You've got one, two, three, four different lock styles, different um, liner styles, all showing you that it's 100% capable of doing um, of the strength and uh, having good locks. And uh, yeah, 
So that's the laundry list of positives. Now let's talk about the negatives. Um, it just doesn't seem as nice. That's it. The only downside to it is basically your ego and uh, you not feeling like, or not, I guess not you specifically, you might agree with me, but as individuals feeling like they don't have a good knife because it's made out of plastic. Like this Manix, this is like a $210 knife in Maximet. But if I gave this to probably most people and then I gave them like a Kershaw Cryo for like 30 bucks, they'd think the Cryo was the nicer knife than this. Even though it's not. And just the performance you get out of these things for the price is just incredible, guys. It is wild. They're just as good, if not better, than other materials in pretty much every way. But, but they don't feel as nice. They don't feel as high-end. So I love me some G10. I've got a ton of it. So obviously I like G10 too. Uh... I have a knife or two in, in uh, aluminum and one with wood, but this, this is the way to go for me. It's the makes the most sense. This and G10, but they're really great guys. I really recommend if you haven't tried one of these style of knives, just do it, okay? It is such a good material to make knife handles out of, so... That's all I've got. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, have a good one.